Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to use Tilt Shift Blur to make your footage more cinematic inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now we're on the edit page and as you can see I have a clip in my timeline that I took back in Japan and we have some nice uh, blurry foreground, some nice blurry background, I think I shoot that at 2.8 uh, and our main subject is this lantern. I would like though to make it pop a little more um, and to create more separation with the background. To do that I'm gonna use Tilt Shift Blur. We're gonna go over to Effect Library, then we're gonna go to Open FX and look for Tilt Shift Blur. Let's just drag it onto our clip, and here make sure that it's on Open FX Overlay. By default, it will be on Transform, but please select Open FX Overlay so you can directly make modification right here in the viewer. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna put the blur strength to the maximum so you can actually see how it's affecting the footage and then you can adjust it properly. First off, here you can control the lens iris. You can control uh, what shape uh, you want it to take. If you want a triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, circle, most of the time I stay in circle. Then you can just adjust the blade curvature, rotation, anamorphism, highlight and stuff like that. Uh, I usually don't touch that. If you look for something specific, you can do it, but I usually don't touch any of that. Then you can go to depth of field. That's where most of the change gonna happen. So here, uh, center X, center Y, angle, it's all the thing that you can do directly here on the viewer by moving it and adjusting the angle. So you usually put it directly onto your subject and here we good. And then you can adjust the in focus range that will basically adjust the focus range of the blur. Here we're just gonna raise it a little bit so it's covering most of my subject. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more like that. Raise it a little bit more and I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. Here we go, I think it's pretty good. So here, obviously, it's still way too strong, the blur strength. It doesn't look natural at all, but it's just for us to identify, okay, what we want to make pop and how we're gonna adjust it. Here, if I raise near blur range, as you can see, it's affecting only one side. And here with far blur range, same thing, it's affecting the other side. It's basically raising the strength of the effect. So here, here you can toggle depth map preview to have like a gradient overview on how the image is affected. And we're gonna bring the blur strength down because you don't want to go overboard with it. Otherwise it's not gonna look natural. Here, I think I'm happy with around six. Um, because this one I want it to be like very very popping I want really to have a good separation with the background and with the foreground and here if we check a before and after as you can see it really creates some more depth into the image and we have like a lot more bokeh in the background now let's play the clip it looks pretty good. One thing to keep in mind though is that obviously this is not tracking your subject. If you want to do that, you will need either to keyframe or to go over to Fusion and use the tracking there. If your subject is not moving so much, what you can do is simply keyframing here with like the center. You can just add a keyframe at the beginning, then move a little bit forward and then adjust that by moving it a little bit. And then your tilt shift blur gonna move along with the subject. But if you have more movement in your footage, you probably will need to do that in Fusion by using the tracking. That's a very, very good tool to just help you get like a more cinematic look if you don't have uh, a lens that go down to 2.8, 1.2, 1.4, 1.8. All right, let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.